the chakras. And if you see, it's urine which you call, what's called mutra, people call urine all over the world, they make fun of it. It's called Ganga. It's dung. It's not dung. It is gobar. Not even gobar. It's a misnomer. Gobar. Not gobar. Gobar. It's the vardhan of the cow. It's called Lakshmi. It has got the capacity and the ability to bring Mother Lakshmi right to your house. In Bhopal gas tragedy, don't forget the houses which had gobar put on the road were not affected with the gas. This is research. People don't know. People just say, you know, this is some kind of a pseudo religion people are following. You know, when animals, everybody eats all over the world. No. It's Suri Ketu Nari collects the rays and enforced energy of the sun and it translates it into its milk. Ghazali himself has written about the cow. So, what is he said? Its meat is poison. Its milk is nectar. I think it's what in Ilyamuddin that he wrote this. Now, just imagine, all across the Babylonians, the Sumerians, used to worship the cow and the bull. Internationally, the horns are called Brahma and Vishnu. The forehead is called Mother. The top part is called Bhagavan Shiv. It's a whole temple. It is not just an animal. It's not an animal. It is just, it's one big beautiful temple. All you have to do is get the mother cow in the house. And you have got a temple in your house. It's not just like that, that our entire history is full of this. And it's just, just like that, that everybody is so much against this being, this divine being, I would say, who sits right outside every Shiva temple. You have to first get his blessings, get his permission. Then you can go inside a temple, otherwise you cannot go inside a temple. 